is Tyler Ken. I'm the curator of contemporary art at the Columbus Museum of Art. And I'm here with a work by Mel Bachner, blah, 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 as you can see. The work forms part of a project, the I-71 project, which is a collaboration between the Contemporary Art Center in Cincinnati, my colleague Stephen Matizio there, and um, an artist and independent curator, Anne Thompson, who's really spearheaded this project. And um, the I-71 project involves several public artworks, uh, many are on billboards, uh, there's bumper stickers and buttons, there is also a set of road signs like this in Cincinnati, and the, uh, there's also a billboard that is on the Interstate 71 between the Cincinnati and, and Columbus. So it's uh, all of the works in this project involve the language of politics or political issues. None of them necessarily take positions that are identifiable, but uh, many, like uh, Mel Bachner's work here, do express a certain sense of uh, exhaustion, let's say, with the, with the political noise that we hear. Of course, I am standing here across the street from the Ohio State House, so I am in a site, we position this work in a site of public discourse. And, you know, the blah 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 is something that people say when they don't want to hear it. Or they say it about something that they disagree with. Um, it signals, it, it, yeah, it signals exhaustion with speech. And I can tell you that, we, you know, as a, an Ohioan in the midst of a national election campaign, we do receive a tremendous amount of communication from politicians uh, of all stripes and but the phrase itself is you know it's very bipartisan in the sense that um, you know it is always somebody on the other side who is doing the blah 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 and you know I could be saying blah 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 right now the work is uh, it's very flexible in that sense um, Mel Bochner is an artist who has used language um, as a medium, as material, since the 1960s, and has been using this phrase on paintings and on uh, larger murals. Uh, this is the first sculptural iteration of the work, and I can tell you that it has been connecting with the way many of us feel in Columbus, in this you know kind of swing state. Um, in Swing State, Ohio, just as I've been standing here, there have been several people who have uh, stopped and asked us questions about it, or taken photos of it, and uh, the response has been really fantastic. But it could also provoke people to say, hey, wait a minute, uh, there are issues, real issues, in people's lives at stake in this election. It's not all blah, blah, blah. Um, I think that is an appropriate and perfect response to, to the work itself. And um, so, yeah, you know, I hope people enjoy it. Thanks.